Hey, it's Big T. Today I'm going to tie a sulfur. It is a mayfly that is prevalent in our southeastern watersheds this time of year. And by this time of year right now it is May, uh, early May. We tend to come around late April and start then. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to start with a size 16 jig claw hook. That's a Big T style hook in the vise along with a 3.0 millimeter uh, tungsten slotted black nickel bead. Uh, I will go to a silver at times as well on this. And the other bead uh, you could potentially put on here is the offset jig style bead. That bead does well with pertagons. We're going to use some Semperfly 8-aught primrose colored thread to begin. I'm a real big fan of the Semperfly products. They have really done well as a new player in the market. This is a Hungarian partridge feather, most prevalently used for soft hackles, but we're going to use it in this case as a tailing feather. And we're going to just take about four of those, three to four, and pull off the stem. I'm going to try and get it where it's got a little of the up, upper curvature. Try and hold it properly and we're going to look at doing a tail about the length of the shaft. And I'll tie that in securely and start wrapping up and then trim off any of these excess. Actually I think I might be able just to wrap that straight down and I can. Uh, we're gonna build a tapered body with our thread at this point so if you want to cut it off short you can do that knowing that you're gonna be covering things up and evening things out with thread. Once we get a little bit of a taper built, which we are there, we're just going to go ahead and whip finish that off. don't need a bunch of turns because we'll be covering that up. Next we're going to get a fluorescent orange Semperfly 8 aught, and we're going to start that right behind the bead, make a couple of wraps to secure it down and tie over our tag and then trim. And we're going to wrap down about a third of the way down the body with with that before we whip finish. Again, don't need a ton of whips there because we've got something else coming over this. This is a three bobbin fly. Uh, this is Hen's number two body quills. It's a pale yellow. And what we're going to do is actually start this right where the orange and yellow part meet because I'm going to whip finish this at the top and I don't want too much coverage over top of that orange thread or it won't bleed through. This body quill material is translucent but the more wraps you make, the more of the predominant body quill cover, uh, color comes through. In other words, if I continue to wrap, it would become more and more yellow. So I'm going to do some whip finishes there. And trim that off. Then we'll come over top of this with a little Solarez bone dry. This will not only make this fly a lot more durable, 
but it will also reduce the drag on the fly. Anytime you've got any little ridges or non-smooth areas, there's going to be some sort of resistance slowing the sink rate of the fly. Which is one of the reasons the Pertagon is such a effective fly pattern because they get down so quick. There's a saying, the difference between a good fisherman and a great fisherman is a split shot. Meaning, sometimes all it takes is a little extra weight or sink rate to get down to the fish quicker. Now the final step, in my opinion, is optional. This might be blasphemous to the purists in the Pertagon world. I don't always take the time to do this, but this is a black resin. That I'm going to come on the top with. I specifically like to coat the uh, slot if there's any exposed part there. Now with black, please note since it to a degree blocks the light, the pigmentation, you are going to find that it cures a lot slower. So just be careful of that. I don't know if this name is taken. Probably has been. I'm usually not that clever and unique, but we could call that a sulfurtagon. Uh, but it is a sulfur tied pertagon style. I hope you enjoy that and can put a few of those in the box and test them out on the river this weekend. Or today. Heck, why not today? Um, but I appreciate the time that you spent watching. Please subscribe to my channel and visit the website BigTFlyFishing.com for all these materials and much more.